Now this illustration deals with a ground ring in accordance with 250.52A4. And it doesn't have to be any larger than number two, so it's number two or whatever uh, is designed uh, by the designer of the ground ring. And what is it used for? Is it part of the grounding electrode system of 250.50? Or is it a ground ring for lightning protection in accordance with Article 780, which 250.60 and 250.106 of the code talks about and references uh, the section that we would need to use, I believe, and then a PA 780 for lightning protection. But notice uh, the ground ring uh, in the grounding electrode system uh, uh, is number two in this case, 30 inches deep, but it complies with installation requirements of 250.53F but the ring itself complies with 250.52A4. Now, terminations, we have listed terminations, lugs, pressure connectors, clamps, exothermic welding, and the other means of connection acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction for 90.4 of the NEC. Now, notice we even have some driven rods here to lower resistance because it may be it's in uh, an area of sand or whatever, but we are, uh, are driving driven rods, uh, say if the rods were eight foot in length, 16 foot apart, uh, we're driving them, or whatever the designing engineer calls for the uh, installing electrician in some cases. Notice the main bonding jumper in the service equipment, we need to look at 250.90, 250.92, 250.94, as well as 250.28A and D as in dog. And then, of course, you have the sizing of the grounded conductor uh, uh, by 250.102C1, and the neutral would be 220.61 listed there. The procedure for sizing the conductors for the service is 230.42A1, and then notice the service panel, the arrangement of the mains is 230.70A through C, as well, if you want to look at it, the new rule in the 2020 NEC, 230.71B is in boy, one through four. And then notice we're having one common bar there in, uh, according to 408.40. Uh, the grounding electrode conductor would be a number two connected to a number to a uh, ground ring in accordance with 250.52A as an apple four and 250.66C. Now, uh, with that information uh, given, it wouldn't make any difference what size your service conductors were. In this case, we're 250 kc mil. But it wouldn't make any difference. You'd still just need that number two over to that ground ring by 250.66C. So that's what your figure 10-68 is illustrating a ground ring and its requirements in accordance with 250.52A4 to qualify it as a ground ring.